going on, Jerome? So about a week ago, the Minnesota Defined Viking signed recently released former Miami Dolphins running back Miles Gaskin uh, to the 53-man roster. Uh, a do-it-all running back, really good in wide zone, solid uh, uh, receiver as well as pass protector, of course. Uh, experience with Brian Flores back in the day uh, with the Dolphins, and everything was good. He's going to be running back three behind uh, Alexander Madison and Ty Chandler, and we're off to the races, baby. But s- some really interesting news. So... Friday afternoon, again, the Vikings are famous, infamous, as muy uh, infamoso uh, for the Friday afternoon news dump. Now, I was hoping it was going to be the JJ extension, but eh, whatever. But Al Lewis, the Athletic, go. The Vikings have released running back Miles Gaskin. Now, when, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of Jerome saw that, like, the hell are they doing? All right, they just signed him. What's the point? But, aha, it is a procedural move, and he'll be placed on the practice squad tomorrow as uh, well as be elevated to the rooster on Sunday. So, Miles Gaskin is going to be part of the game plan on Sunday, and uh, after uh, after week, I'm sure he'll be signed back to the 53-man roster. Now, initially, I was thinking, like, hey, making room on the 53? Uh, can we get uh, Dalton Reiser one time? But uh, this is just a strictly procedural move, and it's a way that – you know, the Vikings can save a couple nickels uh, against the salary cap as well as not guarantee Gaskin salary because uh, the previous regime did this a couple times with uh, veteran swing offensive lineman Brett Jones where if a player is on the 53-man roster week one, his base salary is guaranteed for the full season. But uh, a player that's uh, you know, a veteran who isn't subject to waivers, which Gaskin is not, so he can sign to the practice squad immediately tomorrow. Uh, the uh, What teams sometimes do, especially fringe veterans, fringe backup uh, players, is that they'll release them, uh, put them on the practice squad, now with the new practice squad rules, or what teams used to do is not have said player for week one, sign him back uh, for week two, and then uh, instead of his contract, his base salary being fully guaranteed, you go week to week like a track phone. So that's what they're doing with Gaskin, which on one hand, the business is the business, uh, but you know, and it's obviously that they're doing this because maybe Gaskin isn't going to be part of the 53 or this team uh, for long term this season uh, with King Kenne and Wangu coming back from IR as well as uh, potentially uh, the rising of Dwayne McBride, who's also on the practice squad. But I, I like Gaskin a lot, man, where uh, he's a star at the University of Washington you know, back in the Jake Browning days. Uh, and like we said, had uh, a couple seasons of crossover with uh, Brian Flores. Uh, so I'm sure that he gave the inside scoop to Quasey and Kevin O'Connell and company. And you know, Gaskin. I feel like Gaskin's always been underutilized uh, in Miami. I think that he's a solid running back two, three, four, somewhere in there. Uh, like we said, good in wide zone, a solid receiver as well. Just a really good uh, do-it-all uh, tough run uh, running back, and I, I, I like him overall. Uh, so I'm glad that he's going to be in the sphere. And, you know, the whole thing about uh, cutting him, putting him on the practice squad, elevating him, where, I mean, he'll, he'll still get paid practice squad money as well as, you know, practice squad elevation money, but, you know. You know, not having uh, his uh, his veteran minimum guaranteed for the season seems a little bit dirty, but like we said, the business is the business. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings have released running back uh, Miles Gaskin, but he'll be on the practice squad. He'll be elevated on Sunday, uh, and I'm sure he'll be re-signed to the 53 again next week very soon. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but until next time, Skull Production Value.